Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here. I'm gonna join this uh, free for all. 15k. Looks like there's eight players. Hope I can get in. So 15k. Let's go Parthian, I guess. Ooh, are this small scale? That's no scale. Uh, sure. There you go. I'm gonna get some archers. Nope. Now, I know for a fact, once I start and someone sees my eight cataphracts, they're going to think, oh, you broke the rules. I'm like, nope. Six are regular cataphracts. The other two are camel cataphracts. They're different. Let's do this. And eat my protein bar. Mmm, good. Yes, just let's go. So says so the Persian king. So look at these factions Germania, Scipii Romans, Julia Romans, SPQR Romans, Seleucids, Brutia Romans, Carthage, and the Parthians. There we go. Now, whenever you join a scored resolution, there's always going to be one or two, maybe all players who think that it's last man standing, so they'll try to stay out of combat for the longest time. And it's kind of silly. Today is a good day for death. Today is if we are to die, Sunday. Let us do so honorably, and let us send many of our enemies. I can go after the uh, Germans or the Carthaginians. I'd rather kill Romans though, being a Parthian here. So let your battle cries ring out clear and loud. Death, death and glory. Death to the Roman scum. And a cricket. Since I'm not the host. Press F1. Await my orders. Oh, I, I didn't know about that. You learn something new every day, huh? So should we kill the Germans or the Carthaginians? I think we should go for the Germans. But I think with Carthage I'll get more points. I don't know. Let's deploy neutrally. Let's take a neutral stance. That means I'm not targeting anyone in particular. Turn off the flames because it's a flaming mode. It must be a dusk battle or something. Dawn battle. Oh, cool. Alright, so excuse me, I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna eat some coconut chocolate right now while we're waiting. This could take a while, but there's eight players. I don't get it, whenever I host a free-for-all, I mean not always, but almost always, no one ever joins. Yeah, this guy hosts a free-for-all and everyone joins. I don't get it. Mm -mm 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 -mm.
Oh, Germans are ready to fight them. Let's still take on the Carthaginians here. Let's go look at the armies real quick. That's the Germans. Here are the Scipii. This is the Julii. General Lee! Yeehaw! Here's the SPQR. Here's the Seleucids. Here's the Brutii. Crap, I have no opponent. And here are the Carthaginians. Someone got left out. The Brutii did. Let's go after the Brutii. That sucks for me, though. Look how far to go. Oh, wait. No, he has the opponent. The Julii doesn't have an opponent. That really... Shoot, I'm going for these guys. If I waste my time killing one of these guys... Or if I waste my time going for the Romans here, these Julii Romans... I'm gonna get my ass kicked in points. Look how far I am. German should be playing me. And now the Julia is going this way. It's all screwed up. Alright, let's go kick these guys from behind. This guy put a lot of upgrades on these uh, Axemen here. Holy cow. Unless these guys want to fight. Okay, Julia's coming at me now. Okay, we'll go for them, I guess. No, he's going for that fight. Well, I'm coming this way. Or maybe, or maybe we're gonna close in on these guys fighting each other. Are these dogs? They are dogs. I hope this guy went into uh, war cry mode before attacking them. Right now, they have no chance. There's a bit of lag right now, as you can see. That's not me. <laughs> That's somebody else. No, Julia, don't go for them. You're gonna give the uh, blue guy more kills. German general dead. Freaking German German players gave this guy free points. And now the Julia players can do the same thing here. I gotta put a stop to this. I'm too far though. As enemies, these men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. Dude, you're just gonna give this guy free kills here. Well, I guess he's getting some archers. Curtis has admitted defeat. Who's Curtis? Oh, what the hell, Curtis? The enemy general shows his <laughs> the enemy general <laughs> That's a lucid Calverman just kicked now that general we'll to his death. That was pretty epic. Courage. Oh, this is so not good. I have no points right now. Zero points. But I don't have an opponent. If I can get these guys over here. These horsemen. That would be something. Not much, but it'd be something.
I'm gonna go for this Julia play first and then go for the Skippy Eye. I think. I don't know. I don't think I can win this fight though, guys. I have no no points here. Like there was Enemy no one around me. Flees like a frightened child. Now attack and break the will of Oh good followers. lord, Julia player, you're just giving your kills to him. Okay, I need to get my ass over there. Three kills for the blue player. Oh my gosh. This general is the perfect enemy. He does not stand but runs away. Is there any point in killing him? Oh, here come the dogs. These guys are holding their ground here. The blue player. General. Yeah, I got no opponent, man. What do you expect? These camels just scare the hell out of these Romans. There you go. Yeah! Smile upon you today! There we go. The general has been killed and his men lose heart. So we have the Seleucid player over here. Might have to end his empire. Make it historically accurate. General Lee has left the game. That was the red player. He was dead now. That really sucks. I had no opponent. I think blue has the most points right now. What do we got here? We got the Julii player over here. Look at this archer just killing me. So I sent my archers out. To kill this uh, cab unit? Because he could probably run away from my, uh, my cataphract camels coming here. Maybe not my archers. By the gods, the enemy general was a fool. He sacrificed himself rather than leading his men to a dignified defeat. On our way. Damn it, he got him. Cataphract camels. Don't think I can catch him unless I get a lucky shot here. Nope. He's gone. Units, units, time. 
All right, Carthage, you want to play? With your round shield? <laughs> I'll never catch round shields, guys. Way too fast. My freaking heavy cataphracts. We'll just regroup my army. Trying to think who would give me more points. Probably these cataphracts would. It's actually a pretty uh, desperate battle, guys. As I keep saying, when it's scored and you have no points, it's not good. Look how far I am from these guys. I'm not gonna get there in time. Even if I run, my cataphracts will be exhausted by the time they made it over there. And then they would just get slaughtered. Oh, these are companions. They're pretty valuable. But these cataphracts would be very worth the, uh, the effort. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Don't fight each other. Some meat upgrades on these Praetorians, probably, uh... Good lord. Gold, gold, plus experience. He probably I got upgraded from killing whoever he was fighting. That's what I like about Medieval 2 and Rome 1. These maps are massive. Look at this. There's no maps like this in the new Total War games. Like a Total War game would be like this big. Like from here to here, and that's about it. To me, that's kind of a letdown when you go from big to smaller. It, that, that should never be the case in any game. You should always improve and expand. If I can neutralize the Seleucid Cav, then that would neuter him against Rome, and then he would be less inclined to fight Rome, but no, they're, they're about to fight. These guys must be tired, these round shields. It's totally not worth going after these guys, because they are not worth anything. It'd just be a waste of energy. I'm getting messages like, like crazy. Hmm. 
All right, well, here they come. We're under attack. Let's see. I think Rome might have the advantage here. Freaking Carthage needs to get the hell away. Because the Lucid Cataphracts are all the way over there. And Rome is just focusing all this power on one side. Oh, no, never mind. Now this could be interesting. Ooh, that general got... Let's take a huge tumble there. Man, if that general or these round shows take my archers here, I'm gonna be really upset. Oh man, it has... it cannot be a close battle. It needs to be one-sided. So I can get some points. Oh good, that's, that's better. So wipe out these green guys. Do you protect your archers, man? I, I need those archers for myself. Cicero might win this. Ah, there goes the general. His value. He is filled only by a desire to save his own skin. Let's try to kill this general here. Plot an intercept course. Let's see if I can get him. This would be a nice kill. Oh, <laughs> right smack into me. Oh, and he gets away. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh, he, he did it well, how many times? Oh my gosh. That's right. These are my archers, man. Take that one, you take this one. You take that one. Very good. So we got these uh companions over here. Let's try to get them. Try to shoot these guys down. I'll send my cataphracts down the middle to keep it separated. So trying to shoot it. There you go. Maybe she'd be running, maybe?
We got a fight over here. Kind of. Yeah. Not catch a general unit here. Oh, it's not even the general. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, this is sad. That border's right there. I'm not gonna be to catch him. Running way too slow. Okay, let's cut my losses here. There we go. Yeah! Uh, Germany, Skippy Eye. All the Romans. Carthage, Seleucid, Germania. Oh, let's go look at this. No standouts here. It's gonna be tough remembering all eight factions here, but let's try. Ooh! Robin de Bois and Fight Club. Nice. I was asking that Discovery guy if he would join a uh, Barbarian Invasion battle. He kept saying no. I was a little bummed. Uh, so let's see. Let's see that all the Romans. I think that covers everybody. Wait, who's the same? Julii. Okay, who is this guy supposed to be? Who am I missing? I'm missing somebody here. Arthia. Oh, Germania. There you go. So, Germania was Snake McGruff's army. Here's the Carthaginian army of Tintin. Ooh, not very good. Here's my army. Seleucid army. Cicero. Julia army. General Lee. That's a terrible army. That's why his army folded in like seconds. Rudia army. Of Salty. The cab's decent, but there's not much happening in the infantry. Like, if you're gonna go this minimal infantry, then have some skirmishers to go with it. Skip the army of the Persian king. Now this is a decent army here. That is decent. Ooh, this SP car army is horrendous. Look, they didn't spend so much money. But you know, I did that a lot too. Like, I'd say like 80% of my battles I use, you know, underpowered troop compositions. But in this case, these guys were underpowering themselves. Well, not all of them. Some of them had some decent armies, like Persian King had a good army. But anyways, good game to everybody. Hope you enjoyed it.